last October, I heard about an amazing charter school in the poorest neighborhood of Detroit, and we had two of the women who started it on the show and did something to give back to their school and community. My name is Kyle Smitley. I am 28, and I'm the founder of Detroit Achievement Academy. And I remember thinking, I need to shift and do something that will make a more tangible, bigger impact. And I realized that every child deserved this top-notch education, and I saw what was going on in Detroit where that really wasn't being delivered for students. So I decided to open a school. This is our future. These are yeah. children that need our help and they need this, this kind of joy in their lives every day. Um, <laughs> our friends at Shutterfly love helping people tell stories through photos and they want to give the Detroit Achievement Academy $25,000. is in Detroit with Kyle right now. Jeannie, Kyle? Hey. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Kyle. I am so glad to see you again, Kyle. I wanted to check in and see how everything's going with DAA since we saw you in October. It is great What's to that? see you, Ellen. Things are amazing. We have been on cloud nine ever since I walked out of your studio. We are so grateful to you, to your viewers, to Shutterfly. It's been amazing. Uh, well, we're happy that we could help. You're in the poorest zip code in Detroit, and your students have a whole lot to deal with before they even get to school in the morning, right? It is not easy to be a kid in Detroit. Our students face struggles that many kids will never have to deal with, but they are resilient, they're dedicated, they persevere every single day. We have the hardest working kids, staff, and families in the country, and we're so happy they finally have the tools they need to succeed. Well, it, it makes us very happy, and you could see that when the last time you were on the show and how those kids are just filled with hope no matter what they're going through every single day. The community reaction must be uh, a, a whole uh, other level now, right? I know that we definitely felt like we were doing things differently, and thanks to you, now people are really starting to notice. You know, not only do we like to help, and Shutterfly helps us, obviously, with a lot of things, but when we do stories like this, I'm always hoping that our viewers are going to chip in and donate. And I understand that you have gotten donations from some of the viewers, right? Every single day since we were on the show, we opened boxes of supplies. Now, because of your viewers, our students can have art every single day. We literally have enough glue sticks to last us for four years. <laughs> and we, we are so grateful. One of my favorite stories and my favorite notes came from a little girl named Addie. She was seven, and she sent me a note saying, Kyle, here's $11 from my piggy bank. Your students need it more than we do. Um, you know, good luck. And it, it doesn't get any better than that, really. That makes me happy. That makes me proud that we're having the impact that we can showcase you, a 28-year-old young lady, doing this with your life, and then another young lady giving her allowance. That's, that's incredible to me. And then I heard you just got some good news. We did. So we tested our students right when they entered school, and then we recently just finished testing them again. Generally speaking, four out of every 100 kids in Detroit are on grade level. And so we are so proud to announce that because of this recent assessment, we can say that 100% of our students are on track to be on grade level. That's fantastic. It's a testament to you, everyone who works there, and those kids that actually have the desire. You can see that they want to learn. And I heard you got a lot of books donated also. So when we started the school year, we only had about 50 books total. Now we have over 2,000 books, wow. thanks to you and your viewers. Wow. And, and Ellen, Ellen, I have seen the library. It's fantastic. But Kyle and DAA actually have a surprise for you. Kyle, why don't you tell Ellen what you decided to name the library? Well, Ellen, as I sat every single day and I opened boxes and boxes of books, I realized that without you and your viewers, we wouldn't even have a library for our students. So we decided to name the library after you. It's the Ellen DeGeneres Library. Wow. Ellen, can we show you? Can we show you it? Yes, please. Let's go, let's go, let's go show her. That, that touches me so much. That means so much to me. I can't thank you enough. Uh, 